Hey guys, welcome to my channel, Lifeaholic, and it's me Adele. Today we're going to try to do a terrarium. Uh, we're going to use a sedum. I don't know what exactly is the name, but this is a sedum. And then we're going to do a propagated jade plant. So, first, uh, we need some of this at the bottom. And by the way, this will be our terrarium. I don't know if you can, you guys can see it <laughs> there. Put some bits at the bottom. It's kind of like um, not really a drainage because the glass they don't have you know holes, so there's no draining. But this one, when the water goes down, hopefully it's kind of like all drainage. So just kind of like only a uh, first layer at the bottom. Then, we're going to use our soil. This is a mixture of bark, perlite, houseplant soil, um, cactus and succulent soil and also some of the orchid bark. So we're just going to put some layer of it. I don't know if you can see. When you're uh, doing a terrarium, you need to choose plants that kind of like have the same care, like the sedum. It's a succulent and then a jade the jade plant is a succulent also so you don't have to water them a lot because if you use plants that other one is like they love moisture and then the other one doesn't like being watered or, or moist then you're gonna have problems when you water the plant so I choose the sedum and the jade because they're both succulent so in watering I don't have to water them a lot should have cleaned my sedum first <laughs> but you know real time people <laughs> I don't ha I don't want to take so much soil because we need this because the plant it doesn't want uh, so it's not shock when you move them to something else like a terrarium so I'm just taking up some of the dead leaves and some of the soil but not most of them I think that's it. And then I have to stand up for this one. Take some of it, you know, some of the soil of the sedum. I think my sedum is so dry. Here. 
So I put the sedum like in the middle. And then now it's for the jade plant. I propagate this from leaves. If you can see, there's the big leaf there. There, that one. The big leaf there. I propagated that plant. And now groom. I want to make this terrarium and not water them a lot. That's why I choose plants that you know doesn't need much watering. And then later put some soil. surrounding the plants this will be hard <laughs> if you want to learn more about terrariums there's a lot of people doing that on YouTube so you can watch them I will link some of them on the description box though. I watched two and they're really cool. So I'll just put them in the description box because I can't really remember. <laughs> they're the name of the channel. So that's it and you can put some decoration, some put some decoration first before they even do their terrarium which I think it's better than putting your terrarium first because sometimes I know. Now I'm putting some stick, sorry I, did. I forgot to mention that, now I'm putting some Stick and stones. Maybe I'll just put them in one area. Like that, I think. I don't know if you can see. And then some white pebbles mm. I'll just drop it somewhere like on the side like that And later, I'll show it to you. I think I'm done. I think that's it. I want the plants to grow anyway. Now, we need to... Wash some of it. We need to wash the soil on the sides. I 
then also put some water. <laughs> This is going to be like an open terrarium and not a close one. So water the sides. I'm making a big mess here. <laughs> then in the sides of my glass There you go. And now I'm gonna show you later when I cleaned up my mess. So for now, this is what it looks like. I'll show it to you guys later after cleaning <laughs> the table. See you later.